Hello YouTube world, Facebook world, all worlds in between. This is uh, Love and Life founder uh, Stephen Love coming to you all again with my fourth season, uh, episode one of my YouTube talk show, Let's Keep It Real. I do want to thank you guys for all the support and love over the years. Um, sorry I've been away for a little while. I've just been handling uh, some personal business, trying to get myself right with God. Um, had a baby recently, just been working, you know, just trying to be that man and provider that, you know, most men and most people in general just strive to be. Uh, today I'm coming to you all talking about forgiveness. Um, it was a subject that my uh, wife um, suggested. Uh, forgiveness is very hard to give, and I want to I want to kind of break this off in sections for you all. First, I want to talk about, you know, when someone wrongs you and how that can affect you. Um, I've, it's it's a, been a saying that's been out for a while now that unforgiveness, well, at least harboring unforgiveness, is like drinking poison and expecting someone else to die from it. That can be true in so many aspects right there, and that could lay out the whole point for the entire video, but you can the person who you feel wronged you could probably be sleeping so peacefully at night and you're over here wrecking your brain, you're pacing your floor, you're mad, you're heated, you're disturbed, you're uncomfortable because you're thinking this person wronged me. I'm I'm mad, I'm pissed, I'm angry, and they're sleeping good at night. Not because they maybe just feel no remorse for what they did or maybe they didn't. But it's just because, you know, they moved on. Maybe they have the ability just to move on from things. And I'm not saying forget it, your feelings don't matter when someone wrongs you. Yes, your feelings matter. But, you know, if you don't say nothing to them and they don't say nothing to you, then that leaves a gape, gaping hole there that should have been communicated through. Um, you know, I even want to take you all to uh, a little scripture that kind of, you know, deals with that sort of thing. Y'all know I like to, you know, throw a Bible verse in here and there so y'all just have to bear with me, you know, for those who, you know, have a different uh, belief system. Uh, it's in Matthew uh, chapter 5 verses 23 through 24 and it says therefore if you bring your gift to the altar and there remember that your brother has something against you leave your gift there before the altar and go your way first be reconciled to your brother then come and offer your gift um, basically what that is saying is you know it well it lays it out plain as day actually if you have a problem with someone don't just think it'll go away. The, um, you want to come to them and say, hey, I have a problem with you. I feel like this, this, and this. You wronged me on this day at this time. And what can we do to reconcile this? What can we do to solve this problem? Um, if you cannot talk to someone like that and your immediate reaction is, oh, they wronged me. I'm going to go on, God forbid, Facebook of all things and start talking bad about this person and throwing shade and talking exactly about this situation but not putting the person's name in it but I hope they know that this is for them no you don't do that that's wrong that's immature that's childish it's just plain idiotic if you have a problem with someone and if your problem is that strong and I'm not saying cause chaos or controversy go to that person inbox them ask them hey can we meet up somewhere for lunch let's talk about what happened so many friendships could have been rebuilt re-strengthened so many relationships uh, could have had the love restored. So many marriages could have not ended in divorce if the two people just sat down and talked to each other. Not to their besties, not to their homegirl, not to your bros, nobody. If they just sat down and talked to each other, they probably could have reconciled at least half the marriages that you know, ended in divorce could have been reconciled if two people just sat down and said, look, this is what's going on. I feel like you wronged me here, but I forgive you. You know, none of us are perfect because I've probably done some things myself. Um, I know I've harbored unforgiveness myself. There were a lot of things I was pissed off at people about. There were some things I was pissed off at my parents about. I felt like I'm mad at them because they didn't provide for me in the way I thought they should provide for me. But even a harsh lesson I just learned on myself yesterday is that my parents did the best they could with what they had. Uh, we d and we didn't have a lot, but they made sure that I, we, the children, you know, me and my brothers, never saw how bad it really was. We kind of knew, we kind of guessed, 
but they never truly let us see how bad things were. And I was always pissed off, you know, why we didn't get this, other little kids got these clothes and shoes and all we wear is hand-me-downs and this, that, and that. But, you know, and so I, I harbored that unforgiveness feeling like they denied us that childhood everyone else had. You know, in high school, everybody had the latest gear and all the best smelled good and, and the shoes was on point. And, you know, we had the hand-me-down shoes you had to wear for two, three years before you get a new pair. But at least we had it. So to my parents, if you're ever watching this, I'm sorry I was ever pissed off, but I understand what it is that you all did and why y'all did it that way. Um, to anyone, you know, friends, uh, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, me personally, if I've ever wronged you guys, I apologize. I truly, truly do. Um, I've made mistakes, some blatant, some not blatant, but I've never truly meant to hurt anyone. Um, it's not in my nature. It's really not. I'm really not a bad guy to feel like I want to use and manipulate anyone. Just life happened the way it did. I can't, I can't change it. I have to just grow from that experience and move on. So for anyone who I've wronged, I apologize about that. But anywho, um, and to those of, you know, to those out there who I feel have wronged me, um, if I haven't had a chance to say it, I forgive you. Whatever it is you think you did to me or you know you did to me and you know it affected me in a bad kind of way, I forgive you as well. And I truly mean that. It's not just something I'm saying or I'm just on this video around my mouth. I truly mean that. Um, if you've ever talked bad about me, scandalized my name, drugged my name and my reputation, uh, anything like that through the mud, I forgive you. I may not know the extent of what you did or what you said or if you're still doing it, but I forgive you because I have to sleep good at night. My kids rely on me, my, you know, my, my church members, um, my co-workers, people rely on me to be in a right state of mind so that if they ever need help, I can be there for them. If I can't offer them nothing but a shoulder to cry on, people rely on me for at least that. So I have to have my mind clear. I can't go preaching the word of God, teaching the word of God, listening to the word of God with unforgiveness and hatred in my heart. Um, just get to a point in life where you feel like, what's, what's worth more to me? This hatred or this peace of mind I can get from just saying, okay, I wash my hands with the situation. What you did to me, it hurt, it sucked. You, you put my mind in a really bad state, but I got to keep moving with my life. Because if I stay here in the past thinking about what you did to me, my future is going to be so jacked up. And I'm, I'm not going to I'm not going to progress as a person. So I just want to wrap that up by saying, you know, wrap everything up here. I don't like to keep my videos very long. You know, I want to keep you guys entertained and all, but I don't like to keep rambling. Once again forgiveness. If you have a problem with someone, don't go to Facebook. Don't go to Twitter and Instagram or Snapchat, whatever y'all out there doing that's immature and childish and it needs to stop. Approach that person. Call them. Text them. If you have to go to Facebook, use it just to inbox them and say, hey, can we meet up? Let's talk face to face. Not in a fighting sense or not in a beefing sense, but just to say, hey, you're grown, I'm grown. Let's both be sensible come to each other and let's spell this situation out and see what we can do to reconcile it. Especially if there was a friendship lost in the situation or love lost or a possible love interest loss. Sit down, talk about it. That doesn't mean y'all have to be best buddies afterwards, but if nothing else, agree to disagree and move on. Shake hands and walk away. It doesn't have to end in y'all being the you no know, bosom buddies again. But um, just keep peace in your heart, keep love in your heart, Keep God in your heart for those who believe. For those who don't, just tell yourself that this this thing that I was bitter or angry about is not worth the amount of sleep I'm losing, the amount of stress I'm causing, raising my blood pressure, not eating, ready to go to jail. It's not worth it. Um, once again, you guys, this was Love and Life Foundation founder Stephen Love coming to you all with episode one of season four of my YouTube talk show, Let's Keep It Real. Look for me on Facebook uh, under my actual name, Stephen Love, my Facebook like page, Love and Life Foundation. 
please go and um, hit the handy little like thumbs up button. Also, on my YouTube channel, if you are watching, please go and subscribe. Hit the like button on the video. Subscribe to my channel. I will be bringing more videos soon. A lot more excitement coming. Um, let me know um, on the comment section or anything if there's any topics you guys want me to talk about. I'm open to anything. It doesn't always have to be related to the word. You know, I love the word and I will sprinkle it when needed. But <laughs> it doesn't have to be related to the word. Um, you guys have a great day. Be blessed. And please forgive. Because forgiveness is for you. It's not for that other person. So forgive for yourself.